What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Larry Snow. In today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at MailChimp appointments. It's coming up next. Stay tuned. Now, if you are familiar with MailChimp and their ecosystem and their methodologies, you know that they're constantly evolving, adding new features to make it a full featured CRM, Client Relationship Management Tool. One of the two things they announced recently was the MailChimp stores and the MailChimp appointments. And the MailChimp appointments is available now. It's out in a beta, they're looking for feedback. MailChimp stores is coming at a later date. A couple other things you have to know about MailChimp appointments is you need to have a MailChimp website set up and ready to go. So your first step, if you haven't done that, is to set up a MailChimp website. Now, you have two options there. You could use a custom domain or add in a new domain right through MailChimp and set it all up to have it to be like your domain.com, your business name.com. Or you could use a MailChimp hosted website and that's what I did in this case. I'll have some links in the description to learn more about MailChimp websites and the MailChimp appointments. So let's take a look at how all this works. To get to appointments, you do have to go to the website navigation tab and click on appointments and that's where we are. This is our appointments dashboard. In the appointments dashboard, we have the link directly to our booking and we'll get to that in a second. We have any upcoming appointments for that day or we can view all appointments and we have our service. Obviously I've set one up already, but we'll go in and we'll edit it so you can look at the setup process. And you'll see here coming soon, we'll be able to add more services. So you only get one service, and as far as I can tell, there's no way to actually submit a payment. My guess is that is going to be through the MailChimp stores. So going over to our service that I set up, if I click on the three dots down here, we'll see edit, delete, and link, copy link. Let's go into the edit and so you'll see how it all sets up. So we have a name for our service. We have a description for our service. And then we have the duration. You could do 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour, or 15 minutes. You have a price, and there's no set price for anything, and you have a service URL. Now, if you've got the MailChimp provided domain for your website, then it'll be something like this, you know, MailChimpSites.com. Uh, the book online comes with, you can't change that, and the MailChimp consult is obviously your service URL right here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Then you click on continue. You have three choices. You have in-person, you have virtual and phone call. In-person, obviously you put in a, uh, an address, a physical location. Phone call, you have two choices. You can either put in, uh, I'll call my customer or the customer can call me. And if you put in your phone number, it will be sent in an email so that the person can call you at that specific time and day. Go back to virtual. As a demo in this virtual sense, I put in a recurring Zoom meeting. I'm not sure if that's something that you guys do, but with a booking every half hour, I think that's gonna get very complicated. So uh, those are your three choices for now, hoping they add on more features and more integrations with this appointment system so that it will work with Calendly or something like that. So we can have a little bit more variety here. So that's it for that, and we click on continue, and then you get into the days of the week and the, uh, and the times that you're available for these services. I have uh, set up a Monday th through Friday, and I've customized uh, Tuesday, and I've customized Friday. You can go in and edit. That's how you do the customizations. Now, if you don't pick the full day, nine to five, that's default. You could add in your own time slot, and if you do your own time slot, you can't go past 5 p.m. And for the start time, you can start at 12 a.m. and go all the way to uh, 4.30 p.m. because this is at 5. So uh, you can add different time slots, which is nice, uh, but it is kind of hard formatted so that it doesn't go past 5 p.m. So this is the review of the service information. Um, you'll also have to do an additional terms 
Uh, obviously, this is an edit, not a setup. So you'll have to click on additional terms and agreements. Make sure you read all that information. And then we'll click on publish service on website. So we click on publish and we get back to our appointments dashboard with a hurrah. Okay, so let's take a look at this and go through one and see how it all works. So we'll click on copy link. We'll open up an incognito window. So this is the book and appointment page on your website. And this is what's built with the appointment system automatically. Uh, select a service, step one. We'll select our only service that we have. We have some dates available. Uh, we can go to May, June, etc. We'll select the 27th. Uh, we do have an availability at 2 p.m. We'll select that and we'll click on confirm. Then we put in our customer information. So let's go do that. So here's our customer information, Lauren Snow, and here's our email. And there's something here that says notify me about related offers and updates. So let's tick that and then we can review our appointment. So here's our appointment. We have a virtual MailChimp consultation for 30 minutes at $50. Here's our time and location and here's our customer information. You can then edit my appointment or confirm. We'll click on confirm. And it says, great, you're scheduled for a MailChimp consultation. Again, it gives you the time and date with your email. Now, you have other choices here. You can add to Google Calendar. You can add to Apple Calendar, book another appointment, and cancel my appointment. So let's go take a look what it looks like in the email. So we're over here in my admin email for the MailChimp account. And this is what it looks like as a, as a admin. This is what you get when a person fills out the, the appointment booking and you'll have manage your appointments and the information that they submitted. All right, and as the bookie, this is what it looks like here. It says you're confirmed for a MailChimp consultation. Thanks for scheduling with us. And again, it gives you all the information and it gives you the same choices it did when you created your booking appointment. You go add to Google, add to Apple, book another appointment, etc. So there you go, first look at MailChimp appointments. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let MailChimp know what you think by providing them feedback on, these, on this new service or new features that are coming soon. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.